and of all the different uh, features and new services that Apple is unveiling at this particular WWDC, which one is of greatest importance to investors? Streaming music is definitely what I would view as the banner sort of announcement. And, and it's not that financially speaking it significantly moves the needle for Apple. It shows Apple getting more into the software piece where we ultimately believe this goes into a streaming TV and ultimately a one-stop shop type of device that comes down in 2016. So streaming music is really them going, I would say, against Spotify in terms of a battle royale, but it's really them putting more of a fence around their backyard. The one theme that I would say, in talking to a lot of developers at the conference, it's really about software. This is really Apple transitioning from, you know, hardware is, continues to be its bread and butter, but if you look out the next two, three, five years, software is the epicenter. That's really going to be the key ingredients in their growth. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, you know, you also saw some Apple Pay announcements, which are pretty important, as well as on the watch from the app development. So I think all together, I would call it so far as an A minus B plus conference relative to what we were expecting. Uh, hey, Dan, do they wind up making money off of the software? The software is the highest margin piece they have. And even though today it's all been about hardware for Apple, and that's where they've made their brand the gold standard of technology. But in terms of going forward, as the hardware starts to become a little more commoditized, both on smartphone, we've already seen the tablet side, it goes to what is the key for Apple? Mm -hmm. What separates them? It's the software. And the software services piece, as we go out into potentially wearables, beyond the watch, augmented reality, Apple Pay, we saw a rewards program, which is key there. This is all about Tim Cook, the 2.0 growth. It's iPhone 6 in China, near term, is what really drives the Apple story. But as we look forward, it's these really next generation areas, which is being led by software. And I think that was a big theme today at the conference. Right. Well, as Apple pivots to software from hardware, does that mean the stock deserves a higher multiple? It's currently trading at just under 16 times earnings on a Ford earnings basis, 14 times uh, earnings. And 11 times that cash when you, when you factor in the cash. I really think. We're going to start to see a little more of a re-rating here on Apple going higher in terms of not just on that software, almost recurring piece, but I think the iPhone 6 and the China story is still very underestimated by the street. And I think that's really going to be the headline over the next two, three quarters in terms of that upside on iPhone 6 as well as in China. But we get into 2016, and this is what really Apple's doing today with the developer conference. Remember, the developers are the blood, lungs, and heart of Apple. And uh, they really need to lay out that next generation of growth opportunities in terms of products, software, wearables. And I think that's what they've started to do today. So at what point do we sort of say this is no longer Steve Jobs' Apple, but it really is Tim Cook's Apple? Have we gotten there? I think it's, I think it's a transition. iPhone continues to be the meat and potatoes and will for the foreseeable future. But the one thing that separated Apple versus basically every other technology company they're always looking two, three, four steps ahead. And as they look at it today, they could just sit there and, and not really change anything and just on OS updates and, and some other tangential improvements. Instead, they're really focused on this next category. It's going to be Apple Pay, wearables, potentially streaming TV, which we think comes out later this year into 2016. And ultimately, you look at autos, you look at some other areas, hmm. that's really going to be that that next generation of growth opportunities, which I think they've started to lay out here in terms of the software piece. I've never seen a right. developer conference for Apple where they've talked more about software. 